Hello everyone. This is Festina. Welcome to the Power Apps tutorial series. Let's start by understanding what Power Apps is. In a nutshell, Power Apps lets you create apps without high-level coding, connects to a variety of data sources, works on mobile devices, automates repetitive tasks in integration with Power Automate, and keeps your data secure. It is perfect for anyone looking to improve productivity and create solutions for everyday tasks. You can create apps for your business, your team, or even for personal use. Power Apps is incredibly user-friendly. Instead of writing highly complex code, you're gonna be using a drag and drop interface to add buttons, forms, images, and other elements integrated along with power effects. It is a complete visual experience, so you can see your app taking shape as you go. The first big benefit of Power Apps is that it requires low code with which you can build professional looking apps. This is definitely a game changer because it means that anyone in a team, whether in HR, finance, or sales, can create useful apps without having to rely on IT. For example, imagine you work in HR and need an app to manage employee onboarding. With Power Apps, you can jump right in and create a functional app that tracks tasks and documents. No waiting on the IT department anymore. Another huge benefit is that Power Apps can connect to hundreds of data sources. You can pull in data from Excel, SharePoint, SQL databases, and even third-party apps like Salesforce or Google Drive. This makes it easy to bring all your information together in one place. Let's say you have customer data in Excel and order data in SharePoint. With Power Apps, you can bring both data sources together in a single app so that you and your team have all the information you need right at your fingertips. The third major benefit is that Power Apps is mobile friendly. Once you build an app, it automatically adjusts to work on computers, tablets, and phones. That means you can take your app anywhere, whether you're in the office, working from home, or on the go. Imagine you're a field worker tracking equipment at different job sites. With a Power App on your phone, you can update equipment status on the go, and your entire team can see those updates in real time. Power Apps also integrates with Power Automate that allows you to automate tasks. This means that when you do something in your app, like updating a task status or approving a request, you can trigger actions automatically, like sending notifications or updating a database. Imagine you are managing budget approvals. When someone submits a budget request, Power Automate can notify the manager, log the request, and send a follow-up email, all without you having to do anything manually. It's like having a digital assistant handle repetitive tasks for you. Power Apps also has strong security and control features. Since it is part of the Microsoft ecosystem, you can set permissions control who has access, and manage data securely. Plus, it integrates with Azure Active Directory, so you can control access based on user roles and keep sensitive information protected. For instance, if you're building an app for HR data, you can make sure only certain people can access it. And if you have sensitive information in the app and you can restrict who can view or edit specific parts. This is the Power Apps Studio wherein the apps are built. 
and I would like to show you some of the details that we had discussed today. The first one being Power FX. Power FX is the low code language used by Power Apps. And on the top, this is the formula bar for Power FX. All of the Power FX expressions while building apps will be added over here. And another point was about data sources. On the left pane, the third option is data. And once you click on add data, you will be able to see a lot of different data sources like your Dataverse tables and your Office 365 connectors like Outlook, Office 365 users, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint, and so much more. Also, we had discussed a little bit about automation. You have that option on the left pane again. Click on the three dots and you should be able to see Power Automate. Clicking on that allows you to create a new flow or add an existing flow. This way, you can integrate Power Apps and Power Automate. Also, I would like to show you an example of how a Power App could look like. For that, we will go to the Power Apps Maker portal, which is make.powerapps.com. Here, Microsoft has provided a lot of built-in templates from which we can build apps. So you don't have to start from scratch. You have a lot of built-in templates. And uh, some examples are asset checkout, budget tracker, employee engagement survey, help desk, leave request, and so on. Based on what requirements you have, choose a template and start customizing it from the base template that is provided for you. In our example, I have added the service desk as an example. And let us move on to that. This is how it looks like without me doing any kind of customization while I added it from the built-in template. And it is beautifully categorized based on uh, the status of the different tickets. You can see a lot of sample data already in. All you need to do is start customizing it based on your requirements and go on. We also discussed about how Power Apps is compatible with tablets, phones, and computers. Just over here, you could see an option to see how this app gets rendered in the different kind of devices. Uh, let me choose Apple iPad mini. This is how it looks like. And you have a mobile phone. Let us choose Samsung. It looks like that. And the last option is browser. I hope you are as excited as I am about the incredible potential of Power Platform to transform your work processes and bring your ideas to life. In our upcoming videos, we will be seeing a lot of practical examples. And I can assure you that you will become an expert by the end of this learning journey. Thank you so much for your time.